here we are standing again in the garage. We're going to just show you the window assembly. So previously we talked about how uh, our window headers, that they do not transition from inside to outside. So you can see that up here. Good example of a whole window installed. You don't, you see styrofoam continuously all the way through, just like you see on the sides, just like it happens on the sills. And I'm going to just show you over here. Weldon took a moment quickly to just draw how the header detail actually looks. So if we imagine this being the top of the window, what's happening is there's a, a steel Z bar channel that's just running like so. So you can maintain the solid EPS insulation between and the header stays to the inside and stays to the outside, unlike conventional framing where you'd have the header transitioning through. Um, something else while we're here, we might as well talk about window install. It's one thing to have a great ice panel or a wall. It's another thing to have good windows, but install means everything too. So something as simple as making sure you have a good subsill flashing is important, but then you have that and then sealing around. So what we do is we order our windows without the jam extensions, simply because if you have a jam extension that comes into here, it's really hard to get that seal to the outside. So what we're doing is we apply spray foam all around on three sides. Then at the bottom, we put a, a backing rod that's hiding back here. And then we put caulking here to give it an air seal. And what that's doing is Two things, it's giving us the air seal we need, but it's also allowing there to be an air cavity below the glass where if we got water leakage, it can drain to the outside as it should.